During Empire Space's November 2022 Town Hall, there was a featured presentation from Rochester Museum and Science Center 2024 Eclipse Director Dan Schneiderman. Please enjoy his presentation. We do apologize for the audio issues at the end of the video. Yeah, so before we get into the Q&A, if you have questions, put them in the chat. We'll get to them uh, in the order that they come in. Uh, we did want to give uh, one, of our, one of our good friends at Empire Space a chance uh, to speak. Dan Schneiderman is the RMSC 2024 Eclipse Coordinator. Um, <clears throat> attended a lot of great workshops with him. Um, lots of great stuff on social media from the Eclipse. So we're gonna let him uh, inform you guys about that uh, for a couple minutes before we hit the open discussion. Hi, everyone. So, uh, A, a quick thing. I hope uh, everyone's ready for tomorrow morning where there's a lunar eclipse uh, for those who don't mind getting up at like 5.15. Uh, it's not that early, but we won't have another lunar eclipse until, I want to say, March 14th, 2025. So, no, get out there. Weather for most of New York seems pretty good to view the eclipse. We had a great one, uh, I want to say last May. Just enjoy the moon. Uh, so April 8th, 2024, in about 519 days, there'll be a total solar eclipse for a good chunk of New York State, about 3.75 to 4 million residents all within New York State already live here. Like, there's already a good chunk of us, and... You know, just within Rochester, we're expecting anywhere from 375,000 to half a million people just visiting the region and spending, like, two, having an economic impact of about $200 million. Here's the crazy thing. Uh, so the eclipse does hit, you know, Fredonia, Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, Adirondacks. The state is thankfully, has thankfully taken notice. And we have allies across uh, I Love New York. The governor's office is actually working towards supporting the eclipse across the entire state. Uh, Department of Education is, I've heard murmurs of, you know, building into the 23-24 budget eclipse glasses for every student. Uh, so actually being written into as a one offline item. I can't confirm that, but I've just learned about that this past weekend at uh, the Science Teacher Association New York State Conference, uh, which we, sh we should get Empire Space at next year, uh, as that is a great group of folks to hang out with. Uh, and it will be in Syracuse again next year. Uh, we are getting word that, you know, more and more at the state is, at the state level, is working on the eclipse uh, heavily. Department of Transportation, Homeland Security, Education. Uh, and then in, after that, it becomes very regional based uh, with hospitals getting ready. Uh, you know, in Rochester, we have over 250 stakeholders. Uh, I know groups in Buffalo, Syracuse, and Watertown are also growing. We're starting to hear murmurings of more and more events popping up. And then two weeks ago, we actually hosted the AAS Eclipse Planning Workshop in Rochester, New York. We had folks from all over, and we actually got to talk about, hey, New York State is getting ready, and we are further along than a lot of other states. We're trying to convince uh, different representatives to maybe come and set up in New York State for April 8th, 2024. While we all know the percentage of we all know the percentage and the chances of a good chunk of us being clouded out we still want to make sure that we get representation up here and that is something that we're pushing again and again and just trying to uh, and kind of different representation from there so i know i just kind of hopped around a lot but thankfully murmurings are going around people are moving things forward. Uh, I'm personally still pushing for the New York State Fair to have a eclipse area. For those who have never gone to the New York State Fair, it is visited by what? 1.1 million people over a 10 day span. So I'll start thinking about those other opportunities for us to 
do outreach. And, you know, these could be seen as activations to say, hey, New York State, maybe we should look at the space industry a little bit more and start throwing more resources towards everyone. Uh, I'm personally using the Eclipse as a great rallying point as a way to start bringing people together, at least along one common item, since the next time New York State gets a total solar eclipse won't be till 2079. And for some of us, it won't be till 2144, so. Uh, if anyone has any quick, quick, uh, quick eclipse questions, uh, feel free to bring them up. Dan, where can people um, find you? Website, uh, Twitter information, so they can get a hold of you if they have Eclipse-related questions. A website. Uh, this is, I'm adding in my email. Uh, we should hopefully be announcing a new initiative very soon where we're actually going to partner with a lot of museums across the path, heavily in New York State. And not to spread the word too much, but we are buying 60 telescopes to deploy to organizations all across the Finger Lakes region. So the Monroe County and Nine in the surrounding county region and training people and basically starting a waterfall of information or more like a web uh, and just getting people to spread out and start informing all of their neighbors. All good things moving forward. Uh, should New York State make any big announcements sooner than later, I'll make sure to get the word to uh, the Pat. Awesome. We'll be happy to pass it on. Um, thank you very much, Dan. We hope you enjoyed this update about the 2024 total eclipse coming to New York State. For more, please visit RochesterEclipse2024.org. Thank you and have a great day.